Hey, how's it going out there? It's Brock from Rock Hill Farms. And right now I'm driving around out in farmland on my way to Watkins Tree Farm. So I found Watkins Tree Farm on YouTube and they have a very similar farm to what we have. They have a similar YouTube channel and they aren't that far away. So we decided to set up a tour and I'll show you around their property and kind of show you what they do and what their channel has to offer. Hey, how's it going there? Brock here from Rock Hill Farms and today we've taken a trip to visit a neighboring Christmas tree farm and I'll let you introduce yourself. I'm Jeff Watkins from the Watkins Tree Farm and uh, we're here in the middle of Kansas right, at, right outside of Salina and uh, we're just starting out just like Brock is. We got about about the same amount of trees don't we? Yeah. I have around 180. I think you've got 240. 240 but... trees so we're just starting out and uh, we're trying to bounce some ideas off each other. So in, in addition to the fact that both of us are first year Christmas tree farmers and we're not that far away, we also both started a YouTube channel this year and we do a lot of similar type of things on our property. And uh, you want to tell them a little bit more about your channel and what else you do? Yeah, uh, so obviously my channel, we. Uh, we do the Christmas trees. I do projects around the house. Uh, I did a, a pool deck build for the little pool that we have for the kids. And uh, I did that this summer. I built a pedestal for a washer and dryer. I built a fire pit for the uh, Christmas tree farm. And so I do little projects like that around the house and uh, kind of DIY stuff. And uh, it seems to be popular, people like it. And then uh, we did a spring planting we did a fall planting, and then like I said, we've done the fire pit. Uh, I'm gonna work on a bridge, hopefully this spring. Uh, we got the change of seasons right now. The outside projects are gonna come to a, a halt once we get in the winter. Yeah, that. if you haven't seen it yet, check out that deck build. I've got a pool that needs a new deck, and so I'm gonna watch that a couple more times. And he just showed it to me, it's really came out nice. Yeah, well, uh, we can go over there and check it out here later. Uh, it's my most popular video. I had uh, over 24,000 people uh, check it out. You know when you do a project, you don't realize it's gonna be that popular. Right. But one thing led to another and a lot of people liked it. You've got a couple animals here that are trying to be the stars of the show. <laughs> it's got some uh, good looking dogs that have been running around since I've been here. And we got chickens and cats. And uh, we're kind of hiding over here by the shed because of the Kansas wind. The wind's already blown over the camera once, so uh, I guess I guess for November, the only weather problem we have is wind. We're doing all right. It's 60 some degrees out here today. It's so. beautiful. It's beautiful out here. So you want to take them over and show them the Christmas trees now? Yeah, we can do that. Right now we're standing by the scotch pines. Uh, these are two plus ones, and so these are three-year-old trees, and I don't think I'll do anything else. I, I think these are great. They come uh, really mature. Uh, I didn't have any, none of them have died yet that I planted this fall, so I'm very happy with them. One of the interests that I've had with my tree farm is the irrigation. Uh, I have irrigation throughout all my Christmas trees, and it's basically a drip irrigation. I use a, a plastic hose and then I take a hose barb 
and I stick it into the irrigation and then I drip irrigate all the trees. I have it on two circuits and so I have 80 trees over there and well, 80 to 90 trees over there and I have roughly the same over here. Yeah, that was something I was really interested in is options for irrigation. I've tried a couple things and this is the kind of setup I wanted to go to. So it was really interesting for me to see how it's working for him. He's had it going a while and he's got little mulch piles around the trees. And so, yeah, uh, it's got a hose barb. It uh, clicks into the main uh, half inch line and then it drip irrigates each tree. So for about 45 minutes, I move it twice and I water just under 200 Christmas trees. So for me, it seems like a win-win. Uh, I'm gonna go through my first winter and uh, before we go too much further into winter, I'm gonna shoot all these lines with air and blow the water out and we'll see how it holds up through the winter. I think he was telling me that it was around a dollar to two dollars per tree, the way he'd set this up. But then once you've done it, if that keeps your trees from dying, uh, the trees aren't cheap either. So it looks like a pretty good setup. Well, we're over here by the uh, house and uh, I'm standing by the pool deck. I built this deck to wrap around the one end of the pool. Uh, I had a lot of people build a deck just like this because they watched my video. So it was pretty cool. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. Okay, so I've got the full tour of Watkins Tree Farm here. Um, I think we've had a really good day. Uh, yeah. Maybe both of us learned a little bit. So we're sitting here on the fire pit that Jeff made and uh, thinking this would be a really good time if we'd come here to cut a Christmas tree. And uh, they had a fire going out here and just having a, a good time for the holidays. So um, anyway, this is Rock Hill Farms and Watkins Tree Farm. You can uh, please like the video and subscribe to us on YouTube. And thank you for watching. Thank you guys.